Hello everybody, I want to introduce to you a web image grab today. Web image grab is an automation for the Google image search. So, you know, when you look for images on Google, for example, flower, you get the thumbnails of the images and then you have to click, click and then drag it to your hard drive. So this is a very uh, complicated process, especially if you are downloading images on a daily basis. It, it's impossible to do this all the time. So I wrote a little tool. It's called Web Image Grab. You just download it from my web page. That's the content of the folder. And then you double click it. You don't need to install it on PC or on Mac. It just runs out of the box. So here you can set the search phrase flower and it will go and uh, look for images on Google. Here you see um, the status, how many it finds and how many it already downloads and the download will automatically start and in the web image grab folder that I showed you before there's a new folder it's called flowers and there are all the high res images directly downloaded from the websites. You also have a little, um, if I stop this now, you can stop it by clicking on the line. So now you have this image source text. Here are the URLs where it downloaded the images from. So you have the, the, the URL and the file path of the image. You can set all kinds of things, for example, a download limit, um, you can set the image size, you can uh, set content filter, color filter, file type filter, child safe filter to get only moderate content. Um, so a very special thing about this is uh, you can here set the input language to English with the translation list you can set languages the search phrase will be translated to, for example, Chinese, um, Hindi, Finnish and German. And now when I search for flower, it not only searches for flower, but also it will translate flower into all these languages and start separate searches for all these translated words. So here you can see the other searches that are started and in the web image grab folder now you have several um, flower folders in all the languages you selected. Chinese flowers, Finnish flowers and German flowers. <laughs> okay, another thing which is pretty handy. So we can make a new text file with a flower red flower girl flower power and so on. You can have as many lines as you want and you save the file batch search txt so and now you can make a batch search let's do it make batch search then open the text file and it tells you it found three lines and it will make a search for every line in this text file okay so it starts with two you can set here maximum simultaneous searches in batch search you can say how many uh, searches it will work off at the same time and simultaneous downloads per search is how many images uh, it will download per search at the same time. So you can have a batch search file with thousand lines of text and you let it run overnight and it will download all of these images. So you can download this on my website www.sis21.de. There's a trial version where you can download 40 images per search and if you make a donation of 20 euros you get a full version.
Okay, have fun. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to web image grab. See you later. Bye.